Hello everyone, and welcome to Retro Brick Reviews. And welcome to part one of my video on my alternate build I've created for LEGO Harry Potter set number 75954, Hogwarts Great Hall. And I am calling this alternate build Dumbledore's Office. This first part of the video will just be a comprehensive walkthrough of everything I've included in this model, and part two will be a set of building instructions. So without further ado, let's begin, starting with a couple of things that I kept the same from the original model. The, both the Mirror of Erised and the single boat included in the original set are kept intact here, since I did not need any of their pieces to create the main build, and... Well, I mean, I just like them, so I decided to keep them assembled. <laughs> Removing Professor Quirrell here, we can start to take a look at the main exterior of the model. Starting from the front, on the ground floor, we have an impressive set of double doors with golden knobs. And then you can see from the front you, that you have a nice arched design for this little... for the doorway, with a nice triangular roof on uh, up top the shaping of the roof the roof slants are just attached using a couple of mini ball joints so those can be angled to your liking anyway and then down next to the doorway we have a couple of dark blue wedge plates to represent how this model is sitting on a cliff and therefore there is water beneath it Moving over to the sides, you can see that there is rocky detail on each side. Over here we have some with a bit of foliage as well as, and you also have this nice large arched window. And you can all see that just like the main sets, I have intermixed some, some normal nougat pieces around to create a bit of coloration, dis, well, discoloration to the castle. Not a huge fan of the, t of the nougat, I actually only used it because... I needed the parts, and there just weren't enough tan pieces in the set, because, I'll be honest, I do not like the nougat accents like I was doing. I much preferred the dark tan of the 2010 sets, but, and eh, these are alright. You can also see above the window, you just have a little bit of roof. Moving on over to the side, here you have this large open doorway, as well as this little mini tower off to the side. And we'll get a more in-depth look at, the, at everything from the back later, but... You can see the tower, you have a little open technical, so you could connect this to another set, say the Hogwarts Whomping Willow, from which is another set from the Harry Potter line, of course. And then you also have the, of course, roof, with a lightning rod up top. And, well, I don't want to toot my own horn, I am, I do definitely like the little bit of curvature I was able to get for the top of the tower. I don't know, I just think that looks pretty nice. I like it. Then again, I made it, so maybe my opinion is a bit biased. Anyway, moving over to this side, you don't have as much rocky detail, but you do still have some just going up into the walls. You have another large window on this side, although this one is actually covered up a bit by the rocks. And then over here, instead of having an, an open doorway, you just have this large arched window. Moving up to the top, you don't really have any walking space up here, although you do have a bit of space worth just these little spikes, and I guess you could put someone up there. You have these large curved pieces and these large, no longer inset windows. Wanted to definitely make the top section look a bit different, and I think I succeeded in, in doing that. Looks, it's also a lot simpler to build, and it uses way less pieces because I used most of them down on the bottom. Should mention, by the way, that I had a ton of pieces left over from the Hogwarts Great Hall, but I couldn't really use any of them because they were because the set came with a surprisingly small amount of normal bricks. Weird. But yeah, so that's pretty much all for the second layer, and then up top. You have the main spire, but you also have this other little tower off to the side, and you do have some... Well, I don't really know if you can call them... I don't know what you'd call them, because I don't... Because battlements isn't the right word here, but, you know, you just have these little bits that stick up off the sides. Um, They're definitely not to scale with a minifigure, although really none of these Hogwarts sets are... are 
I mean, like, again, if you haven't noticed, these sets are bra are practically the same size as the nano figure scaled Hogwarts, but these are just designed with minifigures, and if you were to put a nano figure up there in the battlements, it would work pretty well, although they would probably fall off to a gruesome death, and then the doors would be enormous. But anyway, yeah, same design on the other side, but with no tower. And up here in the center, you have this main tower with I, I'm a big, with I, this nice circular design using these slopes, and I think that came out pretty well. And then moving all the way up to the top, you just have another little lightning rod. But of course, the exterior isn't all this model has to offer. There is also an interior, if I zoom back in to stop showing off my whole setup. And um, I'm not as proud of the interior here as I was on my alternate build of the Whomping Willow, but... I mean, I think the upper floor is... I, I, I think that this is probably the best I could do, because again, this the Whomping Willow is just much better designed for an alternate build. The Great Hall did not come with a lot of stuff that could be repurposed for another build, at least not easily. Um, we'll start up on the very top floor, where here we have... I just stored a, the extra mirror piece in here, but anyway. Um, up here we have a little owlery... And again, just a storage space, um, you have a little pole for Hedwick to go atop, but you also have a little upsticking Technic pin, so you could put a second owl up there. And this is also where I just stored a little lantern that comes in the set, since I didn't really have anywhere else to put it. And you also get a little candle up here to light the room. Over off to the side, in the little tower, I just have Hermione with a cauldron of potion and... I mean, I don't know what this could represent. I mean, I didn't really... I mean, I wanted to put in a little room. Like, I originally wanted to put the girls' bathroom from Chamber of Secrets in here, but there was no room to do that. So I just put Hermione up here in this little tower. Again, nothing inside of here. Completely 2D. I mean, maybe you could say that this is the girls' bathroom, although it's a pretty non-existent interpretation of it. But anyway... Moving down onto the main interior section, here we have Dumbledore's office itself, which comprises the upper floor of the model. And um, you have a lot of stuff here. I'll just remove some of the figures so you can get a bit of a better look inside. Starting off in the center there, you have Dumbledore with his desk, which has some nice gold decoration to it, with a candle, a goblet, and a large crystal. Taking Dumbledore out, you can see that his chair is the same build that it had in the Hogwarts Great Hall. And then in the back there, if you look towards the back of Dumbledore's office, you can see that you just have a little shelf back there that features a couple of the of the books on Horcruxes that he removed from the restricted section of the library following Tom Riddle becoming Voldemort. Or Voldemort, sorry. I always forget that the T is supposed to be silent, but the movies did too, so I don't think it matters. Oh, and then you also have that gold stud, which I was originally considering that it should represent the snitch, but then I remembered that the actual new sets come with an, an actual snitch mold, so that doesn't really work, so I don't know, maybe that could be the fake locket, or maybe Slytherin's ring? I'm not positive, but it, it's certain, but, it, but there are an assortment of trinkets it could be, as I accidentally kicked my camera. Anyway, over to the side you have Fox, which is a which is another build you just keep intact. That is the same design for Fox that came in the original Hogwarts Great Hall, because I love how Fox turned out here. I don't know, I just really enjoy how Lego approximated him using just normal pieces in the set, and he looks really good, so he gets to stay the same. Over to the side you have this little chest, which can be removed, and inside you have the Elder Wand and the Philosopher's Stone. Over here you have just the little Quidditch cup, or no, actually, that could be the Quidditch cup, but now that I think of it, it should probably be the house cup, just waiting in Dumbledore's office until it's claimed at the end of the year. Although, that would actually, although now that I think of it, it would just stay with the house that won it, probably the Quidditch cup as well, so, I mean, I don't know, it's a trophy, how about that? And then moving over here, though, you have this shelving unit with the sorting hat, just a little yellow frog, a couple of potions, and a crystal. And in here, the drawers can actually open. And you can just do that by pulling them out. It can be a bit difficult, but you can pull them out, and inside of here, 
we have and they can just completely be removed although they look best if you leave them somewhat in and here you have a basilisk fang for destroying horcruxes and again like you should probably leave them just somewhat open as such but they can come all the way out if the other one just has nothing in it but you could put something in there if you wanted though it would have to be pretty small anyway moving down onto the bottom here we just have a little corridor I mean, I didn't, yeah, I mean, with the huge entrance, I didn't really want to have a main room down here, so I just created a little corridor, as I just said. But there are a lot of nice details down here. To start with, you can see in the corner, you have a little table with a candle, as well as a cupcake. That cupcake is probably the one, or one of the ones that Crab and Goyle were tricked into eating that made them fall asleep in Chamber of Secrets so that Hermione could steal their hair for the polyjuice potion. In the back, you also have a little grandfather clock, which I'm pretty proud of how I was able to get the little swinging gold piece in there. I'll just pull it out. I mean, it doesn't actually swing, but I think it looks pretty all right. And then off to the side, you just have a little push broom for Filch if you have him, or... I mean, I guess maybe Hagrid could also be sweeping up. You, of course, have these large pillars that do obst obstruct access a bit, but I think they look really good, and they really complete the whole corridor idea, so I decided to keep them. And they do also improve structu structural stabil stability a significant amount, if I can speak. Over here in this tower from earlier, this little off-to-the-side section, there's just a little clip to hold a broom moving the petrified Nick out of the way. You can see a little table with a teapot. And then over here, we have this little design for a bench that just uses a couple of ch chair pieces. So yeah, I mean, not much going on in here. And I forgot to mention, you'd have to dis you do have to disassemble the basilisk build in order to build this model, since you do need a few of its parts, like the ball joints. But yeah. And um, the bench is just supposed to be... um. Well, I didn't exactly have a specific reason for it, but there are probably benches somewhere in the Great Hall, I don't know. Well, not the Great Hall, but there are probably benches at Hogwarts. There, just let me recollect my thoughts for a second. Okay, but yeah, that is everything with this build. And, yeah, if you like it, then stay tuned, because I'm going to soon be uploading instructions for how to create this alternate build. But just spinning it around to the front yeah thank you all so much for watching this lego harry potter 2018 alternate build video as the mirror of era said falls over and yeah i hope to see you back again in the next video i make farewell everyone